Hey folks, this is the second video in this particular section dealing with logarithms. And I'd like to give you two special types of logarithms. And so um, the first special logarithm that we're going to be dealing with is the common log. The common log always has a base of 10. Now you'll see that I've written it um, as in a way that maybe you might be familiar with, log base 10 of x. But please understand, we're never going to write a base 10 in this form. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to write our log with no base. So the absence of a base will automatically tell us that it's a base of 10. Now the second type of logarithm that you're going to have is the natural logarithm. The natural logarithm is always going to have a base of e and once again, what I'd like for you to see is that for right now, I've written this as log base e of x, but we're never going to, sorry about that, we're never going to write it as log base e of x. What we're going to do is we're going to, to write this as the natural log ln of x. I want to just point out to you um, what I accidentally uncovered a moment ago, and that is basically what you have happening is that your log base E is getting replaced with LN. And so LN automatically means that it's a log base E. Your embedded question for this video is going to be a bit of a challenging question. Um, and that is to come up with some, some properties here. Now I've given you a hint for every single one of these properties, but I'd like you to take some time and I'd like you to just think through what you feel like maybe these properties are. So the first property is log base A of one is equal to what number? And what I want you to do on this is I want you to just think A to what power is equal to one. So I'm, the hint that I'm giving you is I'm turning this logarithm back into an exponential and I'm making you think in terms of exponentials. So whatever is in that question mark is going to be the answer that's in your blank. If you look over at property number two, property number two says log base A of a to the x power is going to equal what? And once again, I've given you a hint here. So I'm not just leaving you alone for your embedded question. I am giving you hints along the way. So a to what power is the same thing as a to the x? Whatever's in that question mark, whatever you fill in in that question mark is what's going to go in your answer blank. The last one is probably the most challenging of the three. And so you have an a raised to the power of log base a of x. And again, I want you to think about the fact that exponentials and logarithms undo each other. So here you're just thinking about undo buttons and you might even use property number two as well as a little bit of a hint. But if they are undoing each other, what do you feel like is going to be left over in your blank? 